Hey, hey, hey. Look at you. You're happy, excited, and not grumbling. Either he sold some art or Bazooka Joe is particularly funny today. <laughs> oh, terrible day, terrible day. Sales were dismal. <laughs> I'm a wreck, right? Just when I think things are never gonna get better, bang, this guy walks up to me, tells me my neon sculpture's a piece of garbage. He hated the colors. He laughed at the price. He said it was trash. Okay, I'm scared. You can both stop now. <laughs> no, Dad, he hated the sculpture, but he loved the subject of the sculpture. Me! So? So, he's a modeling agent, and he thinks I should be a model. Modeling, Joe? Hey, isn't that great? So this would be for, like, school uniforms with high collars, a lot of buttons? Like that, yeah. Huh? Hey, everybody, want to see my French bikini pose? <laughs> this is me, Nicole Bradford. Cute, huh? This is my dad, and this is my dad. How'd I get two dads? They inherited me. Congratulations. It's a girl. Here's the judge who brought us together. She lives in our building. My building. I own it. She's going to make sure we're one big happy family with one dad who's down to earth and one dad with his head in the clouds. I, I think we're father of the year. You can count on me. No matter what you do, you can count on me. No matter where you go, I'm standing by your side. I'll be right behind. No one loves you more than I do. Put your hand in mine. You can count on me. No matter what you do, you can count on me. No matter where you go, you can count on me. No, no modeling. It's out of the question. Hey, will you calm down, okay? Don't get yourself all worked up. I checked the guy out already. This guy's a reputable model agent. Oh, yeah? Tell me something. How many rings was this guy wearing? How big was his hat? Well, I checked him out, okay? I checked him out. You know, you know these, uh, those fake fingernail commercials? This guy represents the hands. And he's sending me on my first interview tomorrow. I hope they think I'm pretty. Are you kidding me? Hey, I don't know about this. I gotta tell you. You know, when I was young, I toyed with being a model myself. Really? Sure. When you got gams like mine, why hide them? <laughs> but I reached a time when I had to make a choice. Either lounge on exotic beaches and do photo sessions with gorgeous men, or send scum to the big house. <laughs> I went for the job that was more fun. Hey, Judge, want to help me put together my wardrobe for tomorrow? Sure. Hey, Judge. I know, I know. Very long skirts. Very high socks. And don't forget the turtleneck. <laughs> you, I, I can't believe that you did something like this without asking me. This, I'm against this, Joe. Hey, come on, Michael, it's a little print ad. Oh, yeah, sure, today it's A&P Flyers, and tomorrow it's the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. She's gonna be in the magazine racks at 7-Eleven. Truck drivers are gonna walk up to the counter, they're gonna go, yeah, let me have two sixes of Bud and a Nicole Bradford, please. <laughs> Gee, won't I be a proud pappy? You see my face, huh? This is my you're being ridiculous look. <laughs> yeah, I'm being ridiculous. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Let me, let me try and be happy. My daughter's gonna be a model. Yippee. You know what you said? You gotta be involved, okay, Michael? Hey, this is your baby, all right? You're in charge. I am not involved. Where is that casting director? <laughs> She's been keeping our daughter waiting over an hour. Dad, please don't embarrass me. Nicole, I'm not here to embarrass you. I'm here because high fashion is big business. Big business, you got a lot of sharks and con men and people who want to take advantage of you. Hey, Michael, it's a sock ad. <laughs> it's a polyester sock ad. Oh, you know, waiting's just part of the game. I know, because my ginger's been modeling for years and years. You know, the trick is to make the most of this time. Ginger, tell the nice man how you make the most of this time. Power meditation. Well, thank you for sharing. You know, my little one's quite an accomplished girl. Oh, is she? Uh-huh, tell him, Ginger. Three years training in classical ballet. Four in drama. And a year of kabuki at Juilliard. Mm. I'm gonna read now. <clears throat> ballet, drama, kabuki, I'm scared. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Her awards, plaques, and trophies, 
You could fit him in a truck. <laughs> Speaking of which... Don't tell me. Ginger can drive the big rigs? <laughs> Dad, I don't belong here. I'm way out of that girl's league. Uh, Nicole Bradford. Yes. Oh, honey, you're not gonna wear that, are you? <laughs> Dad, I can't go in there. I can't go in there. I'm too nervous. Hey, sweetheart, listen. Hey, we love you, and you are gonna do just great. Oh, that's very inspiring. Want to step aside? <laughs> listen, they're just trying to play hardball. They're trying to psych you out. Don't be afraid of them. When you get inside there, there is nothing to fear but fear itself. Fear and stinky feet. <laughs> Are you sure you want to go through with this? All right, well, I want you to concentrate. Give me that Nicole Bradford smile. Yeah, you get in there, knock their socks off. Yeah, you go get them, honey. Come on. Thanks, dads. You want to play hardball? Fine. Right, go. Cool. Just hope Ginger's wearing a batting helmet. <laughs> Looks like your little one has a bad case of the nerves. <laughs> No, no, that's just Nicole's usual dilemma. Which foreign language should I greet them in? <laughs> and if Chinese, which dialect? Your daughter speaks Chinese? Oh, yeah, well, just Cantonese and Mandarin. Her Szechuan's been slipping since she's been training for the Olympics. The Olympics? That's right, the pentathlon. A lot of running, she's got very strong legs, strong calves, strong feet. Great sock ad material. <laughs> Is lovely in a raw sort of way. Yeah, well, that's the tomboy in her. <laughs> she just got through rolling a couple kids from Juilliard. <laughs> Nicole, you were wonderful. You were simply wonderful. Yes, it worked. I went in there, I gave them my best Nicole Bradford smile, and I'm in. Excuse me, she's got it? Uh, she did very well. How very well? Well, we're really not supposed to say. But let me just add that she did very well. In fact, I think she'd be perfect. Ginger. Oh, sweetheart, it's all right. You did great. I'm proud of you. Uh, Judy, I don't know. I don't know if you heard her. She thinks Nicole would be perfect, which means Ginger has got to be better than perfect. And whew, boy, just thinking about it gives me a bad case of the nerves. <laughs> Sounds like you found yourself a career. They said I had the best instep they'd seen all day. I could die. Here you go, Nicole. A free Klawicki shake to celebrate your first job. Thank you, Mr. Klawicki. You know, Nicole, uh, I don't talk about this much, but uh, I did a little modeling myself. Really? Yeah, back in my football days. Remember when Joe Namath posed in pantyhose? I did one of those. <laughs> Weren't you embarrassed to be seen on TV like that? No, these were radio spots. <laughs> so, so you didn't have to actually wear the pantyhose. You're right. <laughs> Hi, Nicole. How'd it go today? I got the job. Christy Brinkley, clean out your locker. <laughs> Great. Terrific. You're career is really taking off. <laughs> I couldn't be happier. Oh, thanks. I gotta call Rebecca with the good news. It'll kill her. <laughs> That's it, I'm history. Put Corey Kupkis in the archives. <laughs> problem? Yes, there's a problem. <laughs> See, I know what's gonna happen. Nicole's gonna end up as a great model and then move to Hollywood. I couldn't compete with those guys. They're not even guys. They're dudes. <laughs> Don't worry. Nicole's not going anywhere. And even if she did, she'd keep in touch. Oh, sure, she'll have her people call my people. Well, you know something, Judge? I don't have people. <laughs> Calm down, honey. How about if I buy you a milkshake? I I'm sorry, Judge, but milkshakes hold too many painful memories. <laughs> you gotta talk. Uh-oh, bad news. I can read it in his eyebrows. It's like the hair over his eyes stands up and spells, I am the messenger of death. <laughs> 
Are your eyebrows the messenger of death, Joe? I'm afraid so. Hey, Dad, how's it going? Uh-oh, eyebrows. <laughs> Sit down, sweetheart. Sit down a second. I just, uh, I talked to the casting lady. Oh, no. He changed the ad. <sighs> it's gonna be just feet, and now they sort of want the person's face looking at the feet. And my face isn't good enough to look at my feet? Hey, hey, what do they know? They know faces. I knew it the minute I walked in there. All those girls are so beautiful. How could I possibly compete? No. You know, you really got to do something about those eyebrows. <laughs> I used to think I looked okay. Nicole, it's a sock ad. What do they know about looks? They deal in feet. They think pretty means nothing between the toes. They think I'm ugly. No. They think people are gonna look at my face and go buy somebody else's socks. That's not it. If you need me, I'll be in the bell tower at Notre Dame. <laughs> You got a little girl up there that's not feeling too good about herself. Why, it's tough to be 12. I guess when you're that age, I mean, we were all pretty insecure about our looks, right? <laughs> How about if I make coffee? <laughs> oh, please, come on. Well, you never stood in front of a mirror and wondered if any girl would ever date you? Regular or decaf? <laughs> What do you, you, come on, you, you just sail through adolescence, right? There wasn't, there wasn't one moment, there wasn't one isolated incident. Okay, I got it, I got it. We were 14, and you came in with this enormous zit on your neck. That was a hickey. <clears throat> From a chili. Just make the coffee, all right? Hey, you know something? We gotta let her have some time. I mean, either she's gonna forget all about this modeling thing, or she's gonna take it serious. If she does, She's gonna find out that it's a tough world out there. And there's not too many shortcuts, right? Smile, sweetheart. Beautiful. More blush. See if you can do something with the hair. Isn't this great? They're doing something with my hair. <laughs> Did you hear what he said, sweetheart? Beautiful. <laughs> and you were worried about your looks. Just, just think of all the other girls that you had to beat out for this part. <laughs> Now, are you talented and pretty or what? Thanks, Dad. I just hope I don't mess up. Hey, what's the mess up? You got one line. Mm, boy, that's tasty. <laughs> you must have said that a million times in the car. I know I'm hungry. <laughs> but this isn't just a TV commercial. This is a TV commercial with Scott Cameo. All right, OK, OK. <laughs> you know, it's just because he's a big star, OK? He's a regular guy. Gets in his limo one leg at a time, just like the rest of us. <laughs> All right, now, Nicole, darling, I want you to go down to wardrobe. Tell them I want to see you in the green skirt. I'm going down to wardrobe. <laughs> Did you see her face? It's so nice to see Nicole happy again. <laughs> Great, huh? I mean, it's amazing. This thing comes right out of the blue. <laughs> yeah, what are the odds? What are the odds? Here's Nicole down in the dumps, feeling like an ugly duckling, <laughs> and suddenly she gets cast in a commercial for Dippy Cakes, which is owned by Perry Cannon, who, coincidentally enough, is my best client. Your client? Oops, it's out of the bag now. Oh, Mikey, you rigged this? I didn't rig this, I saved the day. I snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. I hope the little girl get her self-esteem back. And I will pause now for your praise. Hey, Mike, what are you gonna do, huh? Every time Nicole feels a little disappointed or rejected, what are you gonna do? You gonna just step in there and rig her life? Well, that's certainly my intent. Well, I couldn't stand it anymore. I missed the smiles. I missed the laughter. Hey, Dad, isn't this great? I missed that. Hey, it's great, sweetheart. Nicole, I'd like you to meet the spokesman for Dippy Cakes. <laughs> Scott Cameo. Hello, Nicole. Scott, it is so great to meet you. <laughs> you are the best actor on TV. You and Alf. <laughs> Alf. Always Alf. <laughs> 
I'd like you to meet my dad, Joey Harris. How you doing? Hey, 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 love your series. Thank you. And my other dad, Michael Taylor. Hey, I read a lot. <laughs> you got two dads? You know, that, that's a great idea for a television show. <laughs> nah, it's a stupid premise. Listen, you want to run over our lines? All right, but I'd rather run over your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Debbie Cakes, take one marker. Mm. Excuse me, Zane. Don't you think you should give Nicole a little motivation? <gasps> okay. Honey, you're eating cake. <laughs> and action! Mmm, boy, that's tasty. It sure is, Nicole. Hi, I'm Scott Cameo. And you know, kids, after school, a glass of milk is great. But you know what makes it even better? <laughs> is pouring it all over the table. <laughs> uh, Scott, I'd like to give you just one fancy adjustment. Do you think I should pour the milk in the glass? That would be my choice. <laughs> you see, that's not so tough. Hey, uh, Zane. I was just thinking, if you... Might... My thought exactly. Okay, everybody? You agree? This is the one. Dippy cakes. Take two. Marker. And action. Mmm, boy, that's tasty. Man, it sure is, Nicole. Hi, I'm Scott Cameo. And you know, kids, after school, a glass of milk is great, right? But you know what makes it even better? Is dipping in a chocolatey, smooth, cream-filled dippy cake. Oops. <laughs> I like mine mushy. <laughs> All right. Third time's a charm, right, Mr. $10,000 a day? <laughs> and marker action. Mm. Boy, that's tasty. Man, it sure is, Nicole. Hi, I'm Scott Cameo. After school, a glass of milk is great, but... You know what makes it even better? A chocolatey, smooth, cream-filled dippy cake. That's dippy cake. Now, kids, go out and tell your mom right now that Scott says, buy a case, right now. Love it! Print it! That's a wrap! Great, Nicole. You can go sign out. Say, ooh, come here. Now, you, you were terrific. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You are so great. Better than Alf? Yeah. Thank you. You know, in that last take, she just had this, like, this cream ball on her nose. Worked for me. Wait a second. That, isn't that going to be seen by millions of people? No, it's just for you. This wasn't the real commercial. Look, Mr. Cannon just told me to uh, take five minutes to shoot your little girl with Scott so she'd have a tape to show all her friends. Well, didn't you like the performance? Yeah, I thought she was real good, but she had this big cream ball on her nose. <laughs> I'm kidding. Seriously. This is a tough business. You don't just make a phone call and get somebody a national commercial. It takes years of training. I've got a pro to do this spot. Honey, you learned your line? Don't rush me, Daddy. <laughs> OK, I screwed up, Joe. Not just a single screw up do I make, but a double botch, a deluxe screw up with cheese. <laughs> not only do I not get over the sock thing, but then I don't get her into a commercial that she was never in in the first place. You must be in Joey heaven. Come on, let me have it. I deserve it. Hey, Michael, I think Nicole's very lucky to have you as a father. Sarcasm. <laughs> you dog. I'm serious, Michael. I'm serious. If I had the contacts, I probably would have done the same thing, too. So you're not mad at me for trying to rig her life? I was, but now I'm happy that you couldn't. I mean, I would have hated to think that for her whole life you were going to be able to arrange things for her that I can't. I, mean, I wish it would have worked out better, but I know you feel bad. So why don't we just go up there and make her feel better, huh? And we don't need any contacts for that, do we? What did you do, send out for insight? <laughs> Come on. Look, no more what's, no more hunts, because there's something going on in there, isn't there? Which is great. The only thing is, I screwed up. And I need to be attacked, not coddled by kindness by some sudden intellectual. Now, your role is to attack me. Now, come on. And action. 
<laughs> hey, the only thing that's important right now is we make our little girl feel better about herself. You are really honking me off here. Come on. <laughs> and I see no reason why you should tell her that you rigged the commercial or that you set the whole thing up or that she never had a shot. Joe! You stupid moron. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Nick, could you come down here a second, please? I think she may be worse off than we thought. <clears throat> yes, Dad. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sweetheart. Hey, come on, listen. I know you're feeling really down about yourself right now. And for some reason, you don't think you're the most beautiful girl in the world. Well, Michael and I are here to tell you that you're wrong. That's very sweet, but you're my dad's, and it's your job to say that. Nicole. Look, I got a part in the commercial, but the second they saw me in person, they decided to go with somebody else. Why? Because I'm just not pretty. How else do you explain it? Because Michael rigged the spot and you never had it in the first place. <laughs> I thought we agreed we weren't going to say that. <laughs> Follow me on this one, will you? I got no choice. <laughs> Don't you see, Nick? If you never had the spot, then you never were rejected. I mean, they had somebody else for the part all along. So that means that, that they didn't think that you weren't pretty. Right, exactly, he's exactly right. But what about the sock ad, when they decided my feet are prettier than my face? Your turn. <laughs> what, what, did the smart pill wear off? Huh? <laughs> Look, sweetheart. Look, I'm your father, and I know you think that makes me biased, but I gotta tell you, when I'm at the office, or on the street, or, or in this house or anywhere, somebody says the word beautiful, I'm thinking this face right here. Nice try. Okay. <clears throat> Just a minute. Hey, Corey, how are you? Oh, fine, Mr. Harris. Can I speak to Nicole? Yeah, sure. I wish somebody could. All right. Nicole, I don't care if you're not going to be on that commercial. You're still more beautiful than any girl I know. Really? Yeah, and I'm not just saying that. I uh, wrote it on my notebook. <laughs> Dad, can me and Corey go down to the Kluwikis and get a milkshake? Yeah, yeah. Joe, how come when he says it, she buys it? I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out how the little guy knew to come up here exactly the right time to say exactly the right thing. You're welcome. 